My name is Anil Choudhury. I'm policy advisor of the Aspire to Innovate or A2I program of the government of Bangladesh, which started about 14 years ago at the prime minister's office. And now it has spanned the entire government. My name is Mustaqib Billah Faruqi. I am serving as Registrar General in charge of Bangladesh. I am the additional secretary of the Ministry of uh, LGRD and Cooperatives. I born uh, at a village, remotest village of uh, Jamalpur district. Uh, in our uh, childhood, you know, there was no service system in Bangladesh. So I faced some problem also because there was no recognition from the government side. There is no recognition for me, no recognition, no service. It is so important, very much important to serve the people. For this reason, I chose the government job because government is related with the people. Government is related with the, all the service which is needed for the people's life. Civil registration actually has become a very important piece of work. Uh, it started with uh, creating the voter roll. In 2007, we realized that uh, we had over 10 million ghost voters in the system. And the only way to do that would be to create a digital registration for all the voters in the country. So that's how it started, uh, voter registration that went into national ID. At the same time, there was uh, birth registration happening by the Ministry of Local Government. So there was another parallel work, which is really civil registration. Between 1873 and 2004, which is 131 years, we had registered about 8% of our population in our birth registration system. So we introduced digital birth registration. We introduced 4,500 locations where a parent could go and register a child with, for birth registration. It's an easy thing in words, but a very, very difficult thing to do in, within the government because different ministries are at play. A registration of birth and death are within one year of occurrence have been uh, increased. So I think what we take the initiative, what we organize, especially the seamless coordination we established, I think within uh, three years we will achieve the target. We already trained 14,000 physicians uh, to fill up the standard form for medical certification, and they are doing this accordingly. A civil registration is not a matter of just one ministry or one department. It's really a whole of government approach that, that makes it successful. So you look at it from a rights approach, you look at it from a service delivery approach, you look at it from a dignity approach, and there are different ministries working on that. So that coordination mechanism is, is, is one of the most important things that we set up in Bangladesh. In terms of uh, making sure that services are available to the right person at the right time. One of the very important components is identification of that person. And that's where civil registration actually plays its most important role. So civil registration is a matter of uh, rights for a person. It's a matter of making sure services across education, healthcare, agriculture, anything else is delivered at the right time at the right place. It's also a matter of dignity for that person that person is recognized for who, or who he or she is. So without that, without that identification, you don't really, you're not visible in the system. So women, underserved citizens in the rural areas, indigenous population, persons with disability, widows, they remain outside of the system and we cannot serve them, even though we want to from the government. So that's why civil registration is so important.